In this video we're gonna see how easy it is to install a LAMP server on your uh, Ubuntu. Uh, LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP and for the Linux distribution I'm gonna use XUbuntu, the Lucid version 10.4. So you're gonna see it's really easy to install a LAMP server on your XUbuntu just by using the Ubuntu Software Center so you should find the Ubuntu Software Center in your uh, menu under settings Ubuntu Software Center if you don't have the Ubuntu Software Center installed just go under system open your synaptic package manager and look for software center here it is just uh, check it and go to apply and it will download the uh, Ubuntu software center um, so I'm going to open my Ubuntu software center and here I'm going to search look for Apache so there is a list of different packages uh, you want to scroll down the list and actually look for Apache 2 that's the name of the package Apache 2 so mine is checked because it's already installed but on yours instead of the remove button there should be a install button along with the Apache 2 you want to also install the lib apache 2 mod GYP oh sorry not this one actually um, Leave Apache 2 mod PHP 5, that's the model for uh, PHP 5. Uh, you want to install also the binary files and the common files. So just click on install and it's going to install for you all the Apache server along with PHP. Once it's installed, to uh, double check that everything went smooth, just open a shell terminal and type in, let's see where we are, just connect as a root first uh, you want to browse your directory until uh, the file system so here you go and then from the file system etc slash init dot d apache2 for example I'm going to restart here my apache server so I'm going to type in restart if you want to start it, just type in start, and if you want to stop it, just stop. Uh, just type stop. Okay. As you can see here, say restarting web server Apache 2. That means my uh, web server Apache is running. All right, perfect. So now I got Apache running. I got PHP on it. Uh, speaking of PHP, I'm going to show you how to install PHP extensions. Uh, it's really simple. First of all, you want to make sure you have the PHP peer package. That's always very useful. So just here, type on PHP peer and just install the PHP uh, peer extension and application repository. If you want to download an extension, for example, you want to download the curl extension of PHP, just type in PHP curl, for example. You will find it here. Just click on install. Uh, once the extension is installed, all you have to do is uh, restart Apache from your shell terminal, the way I showed it to you, and then the PHP extension will be working. Now we're gonna go install MySQL. So you want to install a MySQL server? Just look for MySQL in Ubuntu Software Center and download a MySQL database server that's going to install a database server on your computer and one moment in the, in the installation process you're going to be prompted to uh, enter your credentials so just make sure you, you remember what this credential, those credentials are otherwise you won't be able to access your database server once again once the installation is finished uh, we're going to use the shell to make sure that uh, MySQL, MySQL server installation went smooth um, so I'm just going to type in some MySQL command uh, h localhost 
you just enter the username you have chosen for your MySQL server so MySQL asks you for your password so just enter the password you have chosen and here you go your MySQL server is on it tells you what the server version is and that's it and you have your LAMP server installed on your X Ubuntu so as you can see it was that was pretty easy. I'm just going to finish that video by showing you a little bit around the file system where all the files go. Um, today so I'm going to open up any of uh, my Nautilus and I want to open it with root privileges because the, si the files are located in the file system. So let me just type out F2 here. Nautilus, that's cool. Oh, it opens my file manager um, so I'm gonna go here and select the uh, file system it's right here and I want to go and select the var folder there we go and you see www folder is actually the folder where you're gonna put all your scripts your PHP codes and everything um, for example, here I got a PHP script called version.php. It's actually a script that's going to tell me which version of PHP is running in my Apache server. So we're going to open that from a web browser. So just open Firefox, for example. All right. And here in the address, this is the address of your local server, HTTP. 127.0.0.1 and we're going to open version.php to make sure that PHP files are parsed that's the case, it gives me the, uh, the version of PHP I'm running so let's go back to uh, Nautilus, to your file manager and um, go back to var, the var folder let's take a look at the log folder this is actually the folder where your logs are located uh, Apache 2, this is uh, where your Apache logs are stored my SQL um, as far as the PHP logs are concerned usually they go in the syslog, system log alright so let's go back to the file system one last thing I would like to show you is if you go to the etc folder well you will find for example let's scroll down here and you can see you have here PHP file that's where you're actually gonna find your uh, your PHP ini PHP dot, uh, the, the ini file of PHP let's go back to etc and there is a, a folder here Apache it's also here where you're gonna find your configuration file just so you to know um, the configuration file there is also one here in site enable so this one is pretty useful too well that's about it so I think you have seen how easy it is to install a LAMP server on Xubuntu Lucid and if you haven't done it yet, just do it and have fun with it.